What's going on guys? Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Today, it's a skate date day. I got my wife with me as she's cruising around me right now. We were gonna go on a bit of a cruise, but uh, it's been like two years since she's been on these blades and she really wanted to kind of take it back to the basics and relearn how to just do some basic fundamentals of stopping uh, before we went on our big long cruise. So that's what we're gonna do today. I figure what better time than now to kind of redo a little bit of my how to stop video, but this time do it with someone that's sort of learning it again. So maybe you can pick up on some things that she's doing wrong, see it from someone that's kind of picking it up for the first time or like relearning it, I guess. Hopefully that'll help you kind of more visualize more and I can kind of talk to things that what she's doing to, to help you guys figure out how to stop on inline skates. Yeah, let's have some fun, let's do this. So we're just gonna learn how to do the drag stop. The drag stop or the T-stop, you're basically making an L with your feet. And what that's gonna look like, I'm gonna show you both ways real quick. I would encourage people to practice on both sides or with both feet, but just for the sake of explaining this right now, I'm just gonna use my uh, right foot to drag. So I'm gonna put my left foot out, my, my right foot hangs back. I'm bending my knee in the front and this back foot's about 90 to 80 degrees uh, hanging back. And the separation is a about a boot, maybe a boot and a half distance. You wanna get any closer or further than that. You want to keep your body weight pretty much right over that front skate to start. And then as you start pushing down weight on that back foot, you can kind of lean back to push a little more into that on those wheels and get more grip and slow you down faster to stop. I'm gonna show you from the other side. So you're going, you let this foot kind of travel forward and you drop that back foot out and you get into that position. I would say if you wanna practice that stance without blades on, that would be a great way to practice it before you're actually going in and doing it. Again, from the front, looks like that. And you'll notice I don't have, it's pretty much an L with my feet. Um, I don't have my foot back here too much, like a T, because if you do that, you might tend to start rolling and you kind of get your torso off balance because your wheels will catch. And you don't wanna to be too far out over here, obviously, because then you're, just kind of all whack. So an L with your heels uh, is where you want to be. And again, I'll show you it this way. So that's your L, just like that. So the first thing we're gonna do before we actually drag our feet, we're gonna practice just rolling on one foot just to kind of warm it up and get a feeling for what we're gonna do here. Let's do it. So once you're kind of feeling comfortable on just going rolling on one foot, I think you're pretty much ready to put that back foot down and, and start your stop. One thing that's nice to do is when you go for this drag stop, it's just a nice, subtle, like delicate drop of your foot. You don't want to just slam your foot down. That's just going to throw you off balance. So yeah, I'm going to demonstrate a couple and then Chris is going to try it out as well. So let's get to it. So that's a perfect example of what you might do on your first time doing it. You might not fully commit to getting that foot to that 80 or 90 degrees behind you. It might be kind of, you know, within the 60 or 45 degree and all it's gonna do is just keep rolling on you and get you off balance. So when you actually do it, you're picking up that foot and make sure you're placing it down behind you in a nice L shape. That's one thing that you might want to do is when you're leaning forward, you want to go forward, but you don't want to be too far forward because that's what that's going to do is lift up. It's going to almost like be like a teeter totter with this foot and it's not going to be able to push pressure on that back foot and it's going to lift up pressure to not stop you. So when you're going, you want to make sure your front is forward, but over that front foot and not over the flight. 
beyond your front foot or front leg, your upper body. Don't be shy to start this at a very low speed just to get the feel of it and then increase speed as you go because you don't want to learn something the wrong way and then do it fast and it just completely falls apart. So I would say start at a very slow speed, just getting the, the mechanics of like bending your knees, getting that foot behind you where it needs to go and get that down on both sides before you actually start coming into it with some speed to slow, actually slow you down. That being said, this kind of stop isn't gonna stop you immediately. You do need quite a wide stopping zone. Uh, so you need to plan that ahead of time. So the next thing we're gonna do is actually, there's a white line over here. I'd pick something or put something up that you basically say that's a road that you cannot cross and you need to stop in front of. And we're going to basically practice stopping in front of that to get an idea of how fast or how much room we need uh, to stop with this drag stop technique. One thing that you'll note, this uh, drag stop, unless you have a lot of room to come to a complete stop, you're actually gonna want to, from the end of that stop, move your foot so it's gonna, you're gonna slow down quite a bit and then you're almost gonna roll your foot around and put it in front of you to stop you completely from going forward. And that little roll that foot around is gonna do that last 5% and can bring you to a complete stop uh, when you're going like, very, very slow. So I'll do a couple of those to kind of show you how it's done. That last little bit to complete the stop, it is only to be done, only bring this foot around when you're like literally just barely rolling at that point after the drag stop. It, that's totally extra. The drag stop is literally just this until you stop. Pulling this around like that is more advanced technique but I think you can probably will do it if you just have a little bit of practice. One thing you wanna watch out for is when you're doing the drag stop, your body weight's pretty much right over this front foot. When you pull this around, try to almost put that body weight back just a little bit because you don't wanna be over this front foot and get all like crunched up uh, with your feet in front of you. So just something to watch out for. So one thing I'm noticing when she's doing the drag stop is she's standing up a little bit too upright. Really like sit that knee down a little more so you can get this at more of an angle. That way you can really push on that side of the wheel and drag that side of the wheel and get more urethane touching, which gets more grip. That way, one, you're more stable, and two, you're not gonna start chattering or like those wheels will wanna take off and roll on you sideways. But yeah, really getting that position Kind of like this, and then you can really push that back foot down and angle it to the ground. There you go. So like I was saying before, this just takes practice. It's something that when you get into it, you'll know if you're in the right position or not. It's not really just a, you know, flip the switch and you're gonna be stopped. It really is kind of a very slow, bring you down to a, a slow enough speed to, to turn sideways in a way. My default is doing a little twisty stop. So you probably notice me doing that every time. Which is fine. I mean, I if that's, if, if it gets you into, it slows you down enough so you feel comfortable to twist and stop on in place. That's totally fine. I mean, eventually that'll turn into more of like a power stop um, than a twist. But you know, if you're doing that right off the bat, you know, and you're staying on your feet and it feels comfortable for you to do, I have no problem with you doing that as long as you can repeat that motion uh, in place when you want to. Um, definitely, if I'm not gonna focus before I start and my position is not right, I get thrown off before I even start. And so then I just get all wobbly and my legs and my hips go all different directions and I feel like it's gonna pull out of socket. No, that's totally <laughs> true. Uh, that's one thing is when you start this maneuver, it's really important to drop that foot in the, the right spot um, behind you. Because if you drop it kind of more in a T, you're gonna get thrown off. It's gonna maybe start wheeling behind you the, the wrong way. You really wanna make sure you're in that L position 
uh, and not a T. The last thing I want to say is when you're doing this, make sure your foot isn't straight up in the back, but really kind of angle that that blade of wheels down so you're sliding across the side of the wheels more than dragging them straight up and down. Uh, that just gives you a better grip coverage of your wheels so you're gonna slow down faster, have more control, and it's a little more stable. Um, you're not gonna get that chatter that you could get when you're pressing where the wheel's uh, skipping sideways. So, anything else? She's doing awesome. Thanks. You know what to do guys, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and just keep rolling. Make sure you ring that bell so you know when these videos are getting posted.